Hello everyone, welcome to the video lecture series of C programming language. We are in our lecture number 6. I am very happy to meet you all through this virtual mode. So in the last lecture, we learned about how to install the software that we uh, that is required to run with our C programs. So if you are not familiar with those concepts, I request you all through to go through those videos uh, um, of installation this Turbo C. We have installed the Turbo C compiler into our system. Normally we have other types of uh, compiler also but we have opted for Turbo C. Right. So I have explained in detail how to uh, install those, uh, that software into our system. So make sure like before proceeding, uh, before learning uh, 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 how to run your program and how to check your output, I want you people to install uh, your system with the uh, software required to do this task. Okay. So with, with this information, uh, now let us proceed further with our today's lecture where in today's lecture we will be learning about how to write compile and run our first C program. Remember all, uh, uh, remember all of you, uh, this is our first C program, So, be, but I have not told you, uh, you people how to write the C program. That means I have not told you the complete structure of the C program, but today as, a, as an example by um, to make you people understand about the compilation process and to check the output of a program, I will be taking a simple program. But in the next video, I will be telling you the complete structure of the C program, uh, how to write a, a complete C program and what are all the sections we will be having to be included in the C program. But for today's class, I will be taking a simple example, but uh, don't get confused how we have written this, this program. Instead of concentrating more on the program, in today's lecture, we will be concentrating only on the compilation compilation process and execution process to check the output of a program, right? So we need to follow some set of series, we need to follow some steps to be followed to uh, compile and run our program. The first step is we need to open the editor and then we need to type the program whatever is required and then we need to save that program. Uh, for our reference as our first program, I will be saving this program as first.c. Now, for your reference, I am taking this program. Don't get confused what are all these statements are all and all. Everything I will explain you in the next video. But for the time being, you people consider this as a small program. We, I have taken one uh, statement stdiv.h. stdiv.h is nothing but standard input output. And uh, this uh, is used to uh, include all the uh, directives uh, uh, required to perform the input and output operations. Right? And uh, we have one more statement main function and what is the use of this main function is always uh, uh, the execution of our program will start from the main function only. In, in C, uh, always the execution starts from the main function. And then coming to the next statement, what I have included is the printf uh, statement. And what is the use of this one is within the printf statement, whatever uh, lines, uh, whatever characters you write that will be displayed in the output screen. So, for, for the time being, you people understand this one, but the complete structure I will explain you in the next video. Now, let us consider this program. This program we have to write in the editor. We need to open that one and we need to write down this, these statements into the editor and uh, we need to save this program. And while saving this program, any name can be given, but the extension should be given as .c. Why? Because we are writing, we are considering this program as a C program. So, we need to write, uh, save this one as .c. Remember, by default, uh, we have we are installing Turbo C++. So, by default, it will be considering as C++ option here. We need to change that one as .c. I will show you the execution process also, but remember this one. Once this is saved, we need to go to the next step that is compilation process. Compilation process is nothing but converting our program into the machine understandable format. And uh, to do that task, you can simply click on the compile menu which will be available in your editor and in the compile menu we will have sub more menu uh, compile sub menu and from that you can compile or else you can use a shortcut key of alt plus f9 right once this step is done you can uh, uh, go with the final step of executing your program to execute your program again you have two options one is by menu where you have a run menu and from that run menu you can select an option of run or else you can use a shortcut of control plus f9 to check to run your program once your program is successfully executed you can see your output by clicking alt plus f9 
right now these are all the four steps you need to follow first step is writing the program second pro uh, second program is saving the program and third step is compiling the program and fourth step is the executing your program now in all these four steps let us learn in detail what actually the compilation process is um, in detail right normally the compilation process is nothing but converting our source code to the object code but in the process of compilation uh, this compilation process will be done by use of our compiler and we are using our turbo c compiler to do that task Normally what happens in the compiler process is it checks for the uh, syntactical errors any in our source code. If any errors are there, it will be displayed. If no errors are there, then the object code will be generated and thus uh, that object code is called as a machine code. Right. So, if this is the program that we have written, then this will be this will be converted to into the byte code. Uh, sorry, not byte code. It will be converted into the object code, or also called as machine understandable format, which is in the form of ones and zeros combination. So, this is not in our understandable format. This code is in the machine understandable format. This complete trans translation will be done in by the compiler. Now, in in between this process, we have so many sub tasks need to be performed and what are all the subtasks we need to perform that we will see that will be done automatically but we need to learn what are all the basic step what are all the steps or wait what are all the uh, sub steps to be performed in the compilation process so during the compilation process if the first thing it will do is pre-processing and then compilation and then assembling and finally it will be doing the linking process so what are all these things we will see one by one in detail now if you see here the first thing is your uh, um, if you see this diagram this is our source code and this source code uh, will be given to a first step of preprocessor now what is this preprocessor this preprocessor will take the source code as the input and it will remove all the comment lines in our source code and then generate a uh, and then generate an expandable code and in the expandable code what we'll have is uh, i have already shown you we are writing stdiver.h that stdiver.h uh, complete code will be replaced into that source code and we will be getting the expandable code okay now once this expandable code is uh, is received this expandable code will be given as an input to the compiler now the compiler will be generating the assembly code now the assembly code will be given as input to the assembler this assembler will be generating the object code object code is nothing but your machine understandable code right now once the machine understandable code is generated by the assembler this will be given as which is called as an object code will be given as an input to our linker now what is the task of our link of the linker is this linker will be will be merging all the library functions like in the example we have written print function right that printer function is a predefined function that is available in one library and that should be linked to our code and that linking will be done by the linker which is make which is doing by the linker by linking the libraries in our example is print of statement or else other object files like other c code if you want to match that can also be done by the linker now once going through all this process we will be getting the executable code and once you are getting the executable code then you will be you can execute your code I will be explaining you with an example. Let us consider we have taken hello.c. Now this hello.c will be given as an input to the preprocessor which will be generating the expanded code and the code uh, will be saved with the name of the same name whatever we are giving but the extension will be given as .i. Now this program will be this code will be given as an input to the compiler will, which will be generating the assembly code with the same name but the extension will be given as dot s and once this is generated this will be given to the assembler which will be generating the object code which is called as a machine code the same name will be used but the extension is dot obj now this will be given as an input to the linker where the linker will be linking all the library functions and the other object files and once the linking is done it will be saved with the same file name but the extension will be .exe once the uh, .exe file is generated you will be getting an output uh, you will be getting a um, uh, this will be given as an input to the loader where you will be executing by using your control plus f9 uh, shortcut to execute your program to check your output in all these cases you need to understand here the file name is same but the extension is changed so your in your first source code will be saved with the dot c and your executable file will be generated with dot exe and your machine code will be generated with dot obj file 
right so with this let us learn uh, le uh, these are all the steps that have what i have explained you first hello.c will be created and then hello.i will be created and then hello.s will be created and then finally you will be getting the object called hello.obj and then finally you will be getting the hello.exe file which will be given as an input to the uh, ex uh, to the loader to execute your file now let us see a simple example of performing our task right so to do this task what i'll be doing is we have already installed this uh, turbo c once you have successfully installed you will be getting this turbo c plus plus installed into your system then you can start this one and here uh, you need to write your new program observe here no name is given but it has given with dot cpp let me first write down this program and then uh, Let me first write on this program and then uh, one second. Okay, for your reference, I have written the program already. Now you need to open the editor and you need to type this program. Once it is typed, we need to save this program to do the task. Go to file, save, and then here you need to change this one as any name can be given. Uh, I, I will be giving first dot C. Our extension should be C. Remember, it should be saved in C, your Turbo C and bin folder. Okay, now with once this is done, you can compile your program. To compile your program, you can go to the compile tab and click compile or else you can click alt plus F9. Any errors are there that will be displayed here or else you can press any error. If no errors are there and then you can run your program. So, one error is displaying here. Uh, what is that error? I will show. I uh, Let me check that one. Uh, what is the error is here I have not written this print. Spelling is mistake. Mistake. Okay print f so you need to compile i am using the shortcut please alt f9 and control f9 you want to check the output alt f5 if you see here first program the output has been displayed to come back to your original screen just click enter your first program is your output because we have written first program as your line in your printf statement right all of you this is how you need to execute your program Right. So once this is done, you can. Uh, if you want to see any syntactical errors, for uh, remove this uh, semicolon here. Let me ch show you the syntactical errors. Okay. I have not written this one. So compile Alt F9. So here it is displaying one error. Statement missing semicolon. That means we are missing the semicolon. So any syntactical errors are there. We need to rectify that syntactical error. Got it, all of you? So let us uh, uh, say uh, convert this one. Let us change this one. Semicolon. Again, Alt F9. No errors are there. Control F9. No out. Okay. So Alt F5. You are getting the same output. See, we got two lines. But because earlier output is also displayed here. Earlier one is also there. So it will be compared with the earlier output. Right all of you. So. This is how you can write your first program, you can compile your program and you can uh, execute your program to check your uh, output of the program whatever we have done. So with this we can come to an end of our today's class uh, where we have learned in detail about the first C program uh, compilation execution part. In the next class I will show you, I will teach you how to uh, I will tell you what is the structure of the C program uh, in detail. Let us all meet in the next lecture. Thank you all of you.